Hi everyone, my name is Diana. I am a Canva Verified Expert and today I'm going to share a couple of tips so you can create a vision board that actually works. One that helps you manifest anything that you would like to achieve. All the steps are pretty simple to follow and we are also going to be using free templates. A vision board is a collage of images and words that inspires you to manifest the things that you want to achieve. But before I start designing, I want you to follow a couple of steps so this vision board actually keeps you motivated to achieve your goals. First, you need to write whatever you want to achieve. So I do recommend that you write them down. You can do it by hand or you can also write them digitally. For this, you can use anything like Notion, even the notes on your phone or in this case I'm going to use a Canva whiteboard. So I'm here on the home page and I'm going to create a new whiteboard. For this project I want you to have a holistic view of your life so we are going to take into consideration five different categories. You're going to take note of whatever you want to achieve in terms of health. This can be mental and physical health, relationships, finances, professional life and free time. Now from here, if you have a free account, you can start creating this project from zero. So I do suggest that you go to text and create a text box. And then from here, you're going to start creating the five different categories. So health, you can duplicate this text box and then write the other categories. On the other hand, if you have a Canva Pro account, you can go to templates and I do suggest you go for this template right here. As you can see, we have the label. So this one is available only for Canva Pro users. If you have a Canva free account and would love to work with this template right here, we have a Canva Pro free trial in the description of this video. Okay, so what I'm doing here is that I'm actually deleting all of the elements that I'm not going to use. So I'm going to work with these four ideas in here. Let me delete what I'm not going to use and I'm going to work with this here. And because we have five different categories, I'm going to add one more here. And then I'm just going to change the words inside these shapes. Once you have the five different categories on your design, you can add more categories if you feel it's necessary, or you can also delete one or some of the ones that you see on screen. It depends on you and depends on what you want to achieve with your life. But I believe the five that we have in here are actually very holistic and are going to help us pay attention to every aspect of our lives. Now, from here, I want you to start adding ideas or these goals that you want to achieve on every category. So for example, in my case, I want to run faster in terms of health and in terms of finances, I want more money. And you're going to add more ideas on the other categories. You can, of course, add more ideas on every category, not just one. I'm just going to keep two ideas for the sake of this tutorial and for me to be able to show you all the different steps. Now, the next step is that instead of saying I want to run faster or I want more money, I want you to be more specific than that. So you're going to take these basic sentences and you're going to transform them into something like that. Instead of saying, I want to run faster, you can say something like, I run a 10K race under 60 minutes. In my case, that's my idea of running faster because I'm slower than this. I was able to run 10K in one hour and five minutes. So I want to be better than that. And that means faster to me. And I also wrote this sentence as if this event already happened. This is going to help my mind be able to believe that this is possible. And instead of saying, I want more money, you can write something like this. I have a secondary stream of income that brings me $500 extra every month. In this case, I want to be very specific. So I'm saying that I'm going to earn $500 extra. This is already 
already important i'm being specific by saying the amount and then i'm also being specific by saying in which period i'm saying every month i'm not saying just 500 dollars extra that can be one time in a year now you can leave this as it is and start working with these sentences to be able to create your design of course you're going to add as many ideas as you believe it is important and you're going to fill up the other categories but if you want to go a little bit deeper if you want to go further with this exercise you can go to each of the goals and you're going to start writing the steps you need to follow in order to achieve them so in this case if i want to run 10k under 60 minutes i know that i need to have a stronger body so i'm going to add another box and i'm going to start writing this task that i need to do in order to achieve this so make a list so in this case again i'm going to write these sentences as if they already happened or if they are already happening so in this case i want to say i follow a training plan to improve speed performance and then i do weight training two times per week to avoid injuries especially lower back hips and knees this is something that i'm not currently doing but i would like to do something else that you can add to these sentences is to add adjectives so they inspire you more or they excite you more so instead of saying i do weight training two times per week I can say something like this it excites me to be able to do weight training two times per week and the first one could be I love to follow a training plan to improve speed performance maybe love is not the best adjective but you can work on it I have added a couple of ideas so we have something to work on our design and as you can see I added one per each category I have added actually one more to health and I also wanted to mention that if you want if it helps you you can write these simple sentences and then evolve your sentence to something more precise and exciting or you can actually skip this step and write directly the final sentence and now that i have these achievement ideas i'm going to start creating my vision board for this i'm going to the canva homepage, and then from here you can search for vision board directly hit enter and from here you are going to find different document types you can filter them by category so let's say that you want a desktop wallpaper so i'm going to click on this option to filter all of these results and let's say that you don't want a desktop wallpaper you are more often on your phone so let's go for phone wallpaper click on this option and you will find so many amazing and beautiful templates that you can use in my case and for this project i'm gonna use a special keyword so i'm gonna type on the search bar scrap v board exactly as you see it on screen i'm gonna hit enter and you will find 14 different templates in here you have a mix of phone wallpapers and also desktop wallpaper i'm gonna go for this one that you see in here all of these templates are free are completely free to use so i'm gonna click on this design and then customize this template and from here you know that in canva you can customize everything so you can change the images you can change whatever that is written in here you can add or remove elements so i'm gonna go to the elements tab and then i'm going to photos i do recommend that you start using the canva library because they have so many beautiful photos that you can use on your own wallpaper or you can also upload your own photos if you have something beautiful or something that excites you in here because i know that in my health goals i want to get stronger and i want to run faster i'm gonna search for running from here i'm going to search for a photo that really inspires me and makes me want to go running so let me scroll down and i'm gonna go for this one i actually 
like this photo because she looks a little bit like me so I can really see myself running as she's doing so me move this photo a little bit to the center and then I'm going to change this text for something like faster and stronger okay so I already have an image that reminds me of my health category and then my body strength helps me be more flexible on my yoga practice I could also add something related to yoga so let me search for yoga and let's add something in here let me see if I see something that really inspires me I'm gonna go for this one gonna add it here and now that I'm thinking about this I'm gonna go to upload because I remember that I have uploaded a photo from our previous 10k race and I know that I want to have something pretty exciting every time that I see my phone so I'm gonna leave this photo in here we are both really happy and we want to do this same race again and achieve our goals so let me come back to my mind map I already have created the ones related to health let's go for finances this one is easy let's search for money and let's add a pretty picture somewhere here and now let me just move these elements a little bit closer to the right so we can see better this image okay so we have health finances professionals so something related to our 1 million subscribers I think I'm gonna add something related to filming so we don't shoot with such professional cameras like you see here but I believe something like this can inspire me let me see what else do we have in here so knitted socks and then friendship so I can go and search for friends i'm adding the photo here and then i need to add one more for my knitted socks so i can duplicate one of these elements and then search for socks or knitted socks hmm. i actually like this one and i really like that the element is already without a background because i can add the element somewhere in the design instead of having one more frame in here so let me delete this frame and add this cute sock somewhere here as a reminder of my knitting projects and I think I am done I took a couple of seconds out of camera to change the text that we see here in the middle I adjusted the position of a couple of elements and I think this design is ready to be used so if you want to use this image on your phone you can click on share download you can select PNG or you can go for JPEG I'm gonna go for PNG and then hit download if you have a free account and you have used only free elements and photos or your own photos and elements you can download this image completely free and now I want to give you an extra tip if you really want to achieve your goals is to have this design present almost everywhere and I think you can achieve it quite simply if you have this design present let's say on your laptop or your phone because most probably you are going to be using one of them at least once a day so if you have a Canva Pro account you can go to resize and from here if you are working on a mobile wallpaper you can go and select desktop wallpaper it can appear here if you have already searched for this document type before but if not you can search it on this bar and select it from here you're going to click copy and resize this will work if you have a Canva Pro account it will take a couple of seconds and your design will be ready to be adjusted this can help you if you want to again bring all of these images to your design and everything that you have written in here so let me open the design to show you that we have the elements more or less in the same position so they look better on the space but I do suggest that if you want to work with the same aesthetic that I have here on screen you can go again to templates and search for this keyword if you remember we have here a bunch of different designs that are for desktop but also for phone so 
you could take one of these designs, go to customize this template and then bring the images that you used recently. So you can go to elements and you see that there is this category called recently used. You want to click see all and you simply need to drag the images inside the frames. And if you want, you can also go to the original design, copy and paste the text on this new design. And I think I have my desktop wallpaper ready. I actually added one more element because I also want to learn to play the ukulele. So I think this is going to inspire me and I actually could also take it. I'm going to select the image, Control C, and go to my mobile version and paste it here. So Control V and position this ukulele somewhere here to remind me of my goal. I wanted to show you this extra step of creating a new design from scratch because if you are using templates in Canva, you can speed up the process by going to elements and using recently used. That is going to save you a lot of time and because you are going to have both designs open at the same time, you can also copy and paste the text really quick. And I also wanted to show you this because maybe the first idea that will come to mind if you have a Canva Pro account is to use the resize feature. As I already showed you, if you were to resize this design into a desktop wallpaper, you will have something like this. And then it will be up to you to take every single image, move it to the side, you know, adjust the size so it looks better and then add more elements. It will take much more time than if you were to use an already created template and then just change the images and add the text. And by the way, if you liked the design, the templates that we use today, you can find them completely free in the Canva library. You can just search for this keyword or you can use the link that I'm leaving you on the screen. I'm also going to leave that link in the description. The free templates that we used today on this video, you can find them on my Canva profile. And if you want to find more free templates, you can go and check it out. I'm going to leave you the link here on the screen and also in the description of the video. I'm also going to leave you with another video that I'm sure you are going to love. I think that's it for this tutorial and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!